Today, the UNC Board of Governors convened for a special meeting to deal with the issues surrounding the violence and the toppling of the Silent Sam statue on the UNC Chapel Hill campus. I'd like to make a statement in regards to that meeting, and I'd like to thank our chairman, Harry Smith, for his leadership by speaking frankly and directly to this issue and the board's ongoing concerns. At the end of the closed session, the Board of Governors took a vote and passed a resolution to give the UNC Chapel Hill Board of Trustees until November the 15th to come up with answers and develop a plan of action surrounding the toppling of the Boy Soldiers Monument, known as Silent Sam. I voted against this resolution, and I made the following statement in opposition to it. I said, I appreciate the commitment of the Board of Governors to obey the Monument Protection Act, but cannot support the motion as it is written. The time frame is far too long, especially in light of the violence, the ongoing threats, and the continuing danger to our campuses. Now, the lack of law enforcement strategy, apparent training, and support on the UNC Chapel Hill campus continues to disturb me. I appreciate the chairman's appointment of two of our governors, one a former North Carolina sheriff, that is Philip Byers, and also Dr. Bob Rucho, who I served with in the Senate. They're going to head a task force to investigate the rioting, property destruction, and the violence on the Chapel Hill campus, as well as the police action, or more appropriately, the police inaction on August 20. An outside law enforcement expert will be retained before the end of this week to investigate this entire sordid matter. Now, state law allows 90 days from the date the statue was torn down for its reinstallation. However, violent outside groups such as Antifa, who's been identified, came on our campus to riot, destroy property, and cause mayhem. And they will not wait around while the UNC Board of Trustees figures out what happened and prepares a written report. The next demonstration is apparently planned as soon as Thursday of this week. Immediate action on our part is necessitated and required. I will continue to fight for this university system to demand that students and property be protected and that the rule of law be enforced on all of our campuses.